What's going on guys, DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another gig log. Today we're at a new venue. Uh, it's not new to Kalamazoo, but it's new to me. Nico's Landing in Comstock. So it's right on, right outside this window here is the Kalamazoo River, which uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I was kayaking actually down this river last Sunday. Uh, we're getting ready to get set up here. Uh, they did provide me with a table. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. Uh, this one, it's not crazy big, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Uh, saves me a little bit of time breaking down this evening. So I'm gonna time lapse my setup here, uh, and then we are doing ceremony, cocktail, and reception. Ceremony starts at five, and we end the night here at 11. So I will catch up with you guys after this little time lapse. Peace. guys fast forward uh, let's see 48 hours roughly from that last wedding uh, we're gonna bust out two gig logs in one video um, recap of Friday's wedding today is actually Sunday so recap of Friday's wedding uh, overall it went pretty good I know the head count wasn't nearly what the bride and groom had expected uh, which is unfortunate but you know what can you do uh, we did end up doing some uplighting there you'll uh, see some of that in a little bit of the videos but uh, right now we are at Old Dog Tavern in downtown Kalamazoo. Um, it's actually a bar, but they have a really cool patio area and we're set up out there. Um, no lights today just because it is basically a daytime wedding. Um, it ends at 10 p.m. so I did bring two lights just to use uh, later on for a little while there. But pretty basic setup, just my facade, two, my two speakers, turntable, you know, you guys have seen it a million times so not going to walk you through it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to kick off uh, Cocktail Hour Music in just a few minutes. Ceremony was off site so uh, let's get the show on the road.
All right, all right, all right. First, let me apologize for not posting a gig log in, let's see, two weeks, two weeks. Sorry I have not posted a gig log in two weeks, but <clears throat> I already recapped first gig for Labor Day weekend uh, earlier in this video, so you guys already seen that. But let's recap the second one, and I also want to touch on something that uh, actually was mentioned by Nick Spinelli today or by the time you see this, yesterday, on his channel, which I will leave a card to that video up, whichever side it is, up here. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, DJ Nick Spinelli, dude's hilarious. But recap of the second gig. Uh, as you guys noticed, it was very non-traditional, uh, so they did things a lot different. I did do introductions, I didn't get a chance to film that. Uh, there was actually some, an incident with a photographer, things got a little wonky there. Uh, she was actually involved in an accident pulling into the venue, so uh, we only had one of the two photographers, the other one, she didn't get hurt or anything, but she was out talking to the police. So we did introductions, did all that, did toasts, everything like that. But you guys probably picked up on how uh, the seating was. So there was seating for pretty much everyone that was invited to dinner, but then more people were invited later that showed up for like the actual party part. So it was really cool. So by the end of the night, uh, there was definitely more people than there were seats kind of thing. So uh, Nick actually touched on this in a video today, you know, where is the future of weddings going? Um, I don't want to steal his thunder on, you know, what he talks about because I really do want you guys to go watch his video. But in essence, uh, what, he, what he speaks on and what I want to talk about is, uh, I guess, the evolution of weddings and what I've noticed in my 11 years now of doing weddings. People aren't doing the traditional gutter toss, bouquet toss. You know, they're doing the little sweetheart tables and they're doing, you know, maybe just first dance, um, not cutting the cake, they're skipping that. They're skipping a lot of that formal wedding stuff and they're just kind of, uh, you know, it's more of just a party, just a hangout. Like that was in the beer garden of one of the bars here in town and it was awesome. Like, I would have never thought of that place as a wedding venue, but it was awesome. It worked out great. They had yard games and you know, everybody could kind of mingle they did the buffet style dinner where we didn't really dismiss tables. It's just kind of like go up and get whatever you want whenever you want it kind of thing. Uh, definitely pretty informal and it was a ton of fun. Uh, and I definitely do agree with Nick in that uh, I think weddings are evolving and they're going to become less formal and more, uh, I guess, non traditional kind of uh, just a celebration uh, rather than a formal wedding, you know? Uh, but yeah, like the, the tuxedo thing, that died. People just wear suit and, you know, tie, whatever. Uh, so, you know, it's just we're continuing to evolve and uh, weddings are changing. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, DJ Nick Spinelli, if you uh, are not subscribed to his channel, go subscribe. Uh, and uh, DJ's Vault, if you're not a member of the DJ's Vault, link down below join the DJ's vault and Vibo if you guys are not using Vibo for your planning and you're doing say I'd say if you're doing more than 20 weddings or 20 events a year you should definitely invest in Vibo it's a hundred percent worth the money uh, link to that down below as well I will catch up to you guys in the next one peace